Hi and welcome to my tutorial today. I will be showing you how to create tables on Corridor. When you want to insert data, it is similar to what you create on Microsoft Word. And you can create tables on Microsoft Word as well as on Corridor. Some people do not know that it is possible to create tables on Corridor, but today you will see how to easily create tables on Corridor. Now let us go into the tutorial. The first thing for you to do is to open up your Corridor. And for me, I already opened my corridor. So after you open corridor, you create a new document. And um, this is my own specification on title. Okay, let me create a title for it. Create a table. So I'm using A4 size. And then you select OK. A new slide will be prepared for you. This is our topic, as you can see. So you are going to go into the upper ribbon. Then you are going to see table. Click on table. Then you click create new table. We are going to specify the number of rows and the number of columns, the height and the width. The row signifies the horizontal line, the number of horizontal lines that you want to indicate there, or rather the number of horizontal spaces you want to create. Also, the column specifies the number of vertical spaces or cells you want to create so for the sake of this video i will be creating a table with five rows and uh, three columns for now i am okay with the size of the height and the width so you select okay and as you can see a table has been created now for the sake of editing I'm going to enlarge my table so you drag and that is it I've successfully aligned this to my working space the next thing to do is to insert my data and what I mean by inserting data is to begin to insert texts inside my table. So what to do is to double click on a cell. And immediately I double click in the cell, I have the option to enter text. Let me zoom in so that you can see clearly. So you double click in the cell. So let us begin to enter data inside the table through force. I'm zooming out. This is the second cell on the first row. I have the word through there. The third cell on the first row have the word force, and then I'm going to be writing another thing on the first cell, the second row. So let me put the word cook, dance, run. run then fly so
so you may notice that this my texts are small to view but i'm going to enlarge them very soon so what we are going to do now is to shift these spaces the cell spaces in accordance so you come to this second item on the two line which is the shape tool you click on shape tool then immediately we move to the part of the table and we touch a line you can see that the icon changes from the plus sign to arrow sign and the arrow is pointing to both left and right side that means you can shift the item to the left or to the right so let me shift this to the left and uh, also shift okay let me leave it like this for now So I want to see how to make my texts to be aligned properly. If you notice, the texts are aligned to the left side of each cell and also to the top side. I want to see how to shift the text to the middle of the cell. So what we're going to do is to double click on a cell. And after I double click onto a cell, you can see the changes on the screen so you come to this aspect that says text properties then you click so after you click on that aspect another line is going to pop up and it is in that place you adjust the settings of your text so I'm going to like to change the fonts I'm using. Let me change from area to Calibri. So I'm going to look for Calibri. Calibri. Then change the font size to 20. Press enter. Okay. As you can see, this change applies only to the first item because that was the only one I selected. Now I'm gonna like to select everything. This setting still applies there. So Calibri, font size 20, paragraph, center alignment, And after that, I move vertical alignment to center vertical alignment. It is still looking as if my texts are too small. Let me apply, let me adjust them the more. So let me apply bold and turn this to 30. and press enter so you return to the picture and as you can see all my changes have been successfully applied so let me rename my table you click on the text tool, then the title of my table is what I do. I think that's pretty cool. Let me change it to 
uppercase. So you move to the top of the table and also let me use another font for this. Let me use this one and uh, enlarge. So I'm going to align this title to the center of the table. So I select the text and also hold down the shift button and click the table. Then press the letter C. So I've successfully aligned my title to the center of the table. Another thing you can afford to do on corridor is actually to format the background of your cells. So to demonstrate how to do this, I'm going to select this first cell only. And as you can see, I've successfully selected the first cell by double clicking on it. Then you click on any color of your choice. So let me choose color blue. Then you pick the pick tool. That is it. That is it. I think I'm going to leave my table like this. This is exactly how to insert or how to create a table on Corridor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video. Also share this video. And occasionally I will be sharing more tutorials on Corridor also on this channel. If this video has taught you something new, kindly share with somebody else. Thank you very much for viewing. I will see you in the next video. Bye.